Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. I'm Jamie, and with me, as always, is the lovely uh, Julia Child. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. If you're new here and you're wondering what is this all about, I'm just an ordinary dude trying to get better in the kitchen. I'm trying to learn how to cook and improve my skills. And I have the cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and I'm going through the recipes one by one. I don't know if they're challenging or if they're easy, uh, what they look like, what they taste like. Some of them I've never even heard of. Today I'm gonna be making Vichy Soise, which is a dish served cold. It's called soup. And what I know about Vichy Soise is from the movie Batman Returns when Bruce Wayne takes a bite out of his soup and he spits it out and he goes, it's cold. And Alfred goes, it's Vichy Soise, sir. It's supposed to be cold. And that's what I know about Vichy Soise. Now in the cookbook, there's a full page dedicated to leek and potato soup. There is the potage parmentier which is leek and potato soup served hot. That's the master recipe. And then on this next page, Vichy Soise. Cold leek and potato soup. This is an invention based on the leek and potato soup and the preceding master recipe. Now outside, it's a brisk, cold autumn day, and it's the perfect day for some soup. For some cold soup. Potatoes, peeled. Roughly chop them. Chop them up however you want, it don't matter. Oh, you're moving now. This needs to be exactly three pounds and it exactly is. 0.1. British leeks. I don't know why the Brits put their vegetables in plastic bags. So I need one pound sliced leek, but like using the white part of the leek. And the amazing thing about these leeks is that they're mostly all white. Okay, I learned this the other day. Slice the leek in half, the classic half moon. Sliced potatoes, sliced leeks. I need chicken stock. 2.5 pints is 1,182.94 milliliters. This is my chicken stock today. It's called a stock pot. I'm gonna dissolve this into 500 milliliters of boiling water, but I need uh, two of them and like maybe half, maybe half of one. One more for good luck. 1,500 milliliters of chicken stock. A little more than I need, but I think that's probably a good thing. <clears throat> In your big old pot. Is there no butter today? No butter? Get the hob on medium heat. Leek, taters, stock. Oh, <gasps> don't spill it. That's why you made extra. Use some of your extra stock, which you made because you knew that was gonna happen. Any idea for how long? It doesn't say for how long. Simmer the vegetables and stock as described in the master recipe. Oh, I see. 40 to 50 minutes until the vegetables are tender. Partially covered. Do I need salt? Maybe some salt. No such thing as too much salt. That's not true. Your timer is set for 40 minutes. And then at 40 minutes, we'll just like make sure that the vegetables are soft. If they're not, we'll keep it going for five to 10 more minutes after that. Uh, everything good? Everything's great. Okay, break time. And it's all right. 45 minutes later, I'm gonna check to see if this is tender. Uh, hi, yeah. Always more salt. Puree the soup either in the electric liquidizer or through a moulinette. I don't know what a moulinette is, so the electric liquidizer, it is. It's the blender. So that's a lot, and that's not that much. Okay, I wonder, can I use this thing instead? Holy sh! Okay, so out of curiosity, I wanna know, instead of dumping all this into this blender, is this an electric liquidizer too? Let's try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. So you gotta make sure that there is no stone left unturned in here. There's no potatoes that are sneaking through the cracks. Everything is gonna be blended up into a nice little puree vichy soie. <laughs> Bowl. Great. Also need a sieve, please. You guessed it, pour this through the sieve. 
Um, it's being a little resistant, but that's okay. It's just gonna take a little elbow grease. Yeah, that took like 20 minutes. Be prepared. Uh, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. How about have a taste? Mm, smooth. Quarter of a pint to half a pint of heavy cream, which is like half of this, 118 milliliters. In you go. Just like eyeball it. That's cool. No, a bit more. <gasps> That's fine. It's kind of just sitting on top like an oil spill. Stir in the cream. Over salt very slightly as salt loses savor in a cold dish. A salt shaker was taking too long, so bam. White pepper. Here we have white pepper. Yes. It just says add white pepper, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Bam, bam, bam. White pepper kind of scares me because I'm not 100% sure what that flavor is all about. So less is more when it comes to white pepper. Switching bowls, pots, whatever. And lids on. And just like revenge, this is a dish best served cold. This is going in the fridge until it's just completely chilled. Now, if you wanted it same day, you could probably just have that in like an hour or something. But for me, tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day. Just chopping up some chives. This is the best cold soup I've ever had. It's the first cold soup I've ever had. The taste of that little number is just dancing in my mouth. It was silky, smooth, and you can really taste the potatoes and the leek. It's just like a combination of those two. They're just working together. Okay, it's hot. Soup's amazing cold. How does it taste hot? That's one versatile soup. The big thing for me was that there was no butter. Uh, there was heavy cream, but I had tasted it before I added the cream and it tasted just as good. Hot, cold, with or without the cream, it doesn't matter. The Vichyssoise has got it all, folks. Besides that, this was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. See you soon.